The UK is seeking a warrant to search the servers of Cambridge Analytica, accused of helping Donald Trump to win the presidency. The data of some 50 million Facebook users was allegedly used to predict the choices of American voters. Facebook claims its information was used illegally in what some are already calling the largest data leak in the social media giant's history. Think back to the last personality quiz you completed on Facebook. What if I told you that data was allegedly sold to help Trump win the presidential election? It may seem a bit far-fetched, but that's exactly why a UK data analytics company is in trouble with Facebook. In 2015, we learnt that a psychology professor at the University of Cambridge named Dr Alexander Kogan lied to us and violated our platform policies by passing data from an app that was using Facebook login to SCL Cambridge Analytica, a firm that does political government and military work around the globe. Facebook is now under scrutiny, trying to explain how the data of 50 million of its users was harvested by a Trump-linked analytics company in what appears to be the largest data leak in the social network's history. Did anyone say the Russians? Have you ever worked in Russia or, or on behalf of Russian companies or organisations? We've never worked in Russia. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we've never worked for a Russian company. <coughs> we've never worked with a Russian organisation in Russia or any other uh, country. No. In fact, one Cambridge University professor created a Facebook personality app and then simply passed all the info acquired from its users to the third party. The third party is the Cambridge Analytica company, which many in the media suspect played at least a part in Trump's success. Once Facebook realised it violated their terms, they wanted all the data to be destroyed. It's led both companies to a data feud, which of course has the potential to become a lengthy legal battle. But according to NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, Facebook is really a surveillance company in sheep's clothing. Businesses that make money by collecting and selling detailed records of private lives were once plainly described as surveillance companies. Their rebranding as social media is the most successful deception since the Department of War became the Department of Defence. According to Twitter, more and more users seem to be clued up on data terms and conditions found on social media platforms. For the love of God, everyone talking about Facebook Cambridge, before you comment, please learn how targeting works and that it's commonplace. It looks like data might have been leaked, but it looks a billion times worse if you don't understand how data targeting works. I don't know about everyone else, but the people I know don't blindly trust Facebook with information. Their data was leaked and used against the whole nation. If they continue to refuse to protect the data, their time is limited. If I understood this correctly, Facebook has access to loads of personal data, gives third parties access to this data, and when this data is abused, the major problem is that these facts were leaked. Shooting the messenger does not solve the problem. So it should be no surprise to learn that when you next complete a quiz or poll on Facebook, there might be an ulterior motive behind it.